Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Tin Goku. I'm your host Lindsay. I'm David. And on this show, we look at anime figures and other fun collectibles from Japan. And today we have another Fate Grand Order. Not yet. Not yeah, yet. I want to. Another Fate Grand Order, but it's a character we've never looked at before. You can probably guess who she is from looking through this. But David's gonna rip it off so yeah. you can see. He's been waiting eagerly this whole <laughs> well, like time. There Actually. she is. So, this is a saber, but it's not the saber. This is Frankenstein. Now, I'll talk a little bit more about this um, when we do the close up, but yes. this is the beach version of the saber class servant Frankenstein by Max Factory and is quite a nice figure. Cool. I love the coloring and stuff. Anyways, I'll, I'll save that talk for later. <laughs> so why don't we just crack her open because yeah. we're clearly both eager to look at it. <laughs> so once again, this is from Fate Grand Order. This is Saber Class Servant Frankenstein. And I mentioned earlier that, that she's kind of different and it's not just the beach clothes, the bikini, whatever. It's that she's normally a uh, Berserker Class Servant. Yeah. So when she's got her Berserker Class outfit on, it's it looks kind of like a wedding dress. It's It's a white dress. I think it's Bride of Frankenstein or something oh, like okay. that. Is that all historical, right? <laughs> right, right. Or oh, I mean, not that Frankenstein's real, no, but no. based off something. <laughs> some of them are yeah. fictional, some yeah. are his historical. But anyways, so when she's in her saber class servant outfit, she's got this uh, nice bikini on, and this is from the Dead Heat Summer Race event from the game. So. Those are always fun. Like I'm playing Grand Blue Fantasy right now, so I really enjoy seeing like the characters in their Christmas outfits or whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, getting to see a different side of them. So let's crack her open. Um, so typically these bases are pretty plain, but this one this has a lot of detail. I mean, like the sand has a really nice texture. There's a little shading on it here, not much otherwise, but that's fine. The most impressive part is the ocean. I mean, look at those waves. They f they did this frosty white color. On jealous. the tips. All of my figures have got just the basic, basic bitch type of black cover. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, this is great. I mean, obviously, if you have prize figures, they're just going to be white or I'm something. Sure. All right. Let's see how easy she is to put on the base. I did it. They're they're metal pegs, right? So you think they would be like a smooth slide in, but they're not. You gotta find the exact right angle to put them in because it's like a square shape, not yeah, a circle. Yeah, to stop you from rotating. Yeah. Anyways, Don't got put it on. Don't too hard. We've got to take this apart. Yeah. There are clear um, pegs down here. Um, it kind of hides the metal a bit. Uh, so it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it doesn't stand out so much, especially against the ocean part. All right. So next up is the giant weapon. Or is this two parts, or you've got to put it together? It's uh, probably because it goes through her hand. So like, it fits right here. But she's got to hold it in her hand. Not the hand you think, ah. but the sleeved hand. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, before I put this on, this is really cute. There's some you, shit on that. you can hey. see, oh, there's still plastic over here. You can see the ridges of her, her fingers through here, like this is her knuckle, and you can kind of see the small ridges where her fingers are. <laughs> That's a really nice detail. All right, so now I have her fully assembled. So there is the full figure. Very nice, very nice. I'll do a close up in a sec. One of my favorite things about it is the juxtaposition between how soft her colors are on her outfit and how like metallic this looks behind her like yeah, you know it's like it's it. it's very soft over here and then mecha you know i, will, I don't even know what harsh. this weapon is yeah it's harsh is that is that a no <laughs> it's amazing but yeah they did a really good job making this look metallic especially the red part here so she also has some really nice metallic parts on her body as well um including this giant horn on her head 
which looks pretty cool because you don't see a lot of characters with this kind yeah. of feature, as well as the bolt-like things on her ears. Now, if you're if you're talking about the Berserker Frankenstein, um, she does not have the horn in her first form. It comes in later forms. But for the Saber class Frankenstein, this is how she looks in her first ascension form, in her stage one form, I mean. Um, like, this is like top to bottom how the stage one form looks. Um, her later forms actually don't have the jacket and I'll show that to you real quick. So like this is stage two. I actually like stage one the best. And then stage three is just like ribbons. I'm surprised they didn't do the ribbons one. Cause you know, really? well, scantily clad. I mean, <laughs> I know, but like stage one, I think has the most interesting in terms of coloring because you've got, you've got that blue swimsuit, but it's with the yellow over it. It gives it a very nice balance. Um, like with four? the stage four is just this, but in a different picture. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever bring out another type of, you know, changed edition of it. Same same mouldings, but just take off the the jacket, or maybe add this, the other stuff. Oh yeah, they could. I could see. I could definitely see them trying to jump to that yeah. ribbon form. But I mean, for me, this one's the cutest. Just the, this jacket is so cute, and it adds a lot of uh, detail to it that she wouldn't have if it were just the ribbons around her. Like this is so cute. How you can see her arm peeking through the sleeves. I also just love one of my favorite things. I'm not a pervert, I promise. Is yeah. is the stomach? You said this before. <laughs> I know I like it's because it. I really like it. Like I I love the how you can see the muscles of the stomach. It's so soft. But yeah, there's just very subtle um, shading in here to kind of put more emphasis on where her bone structure is and the muscles, and I just think it looks really nice. Her legs look nice as well, but there's some more of the shading on the knees. The back of the knees. I know some people like the backs of the knees, so this is for you guys. <laughs> I also like... More gold. The shoes. Well, even got... the buckle on the other side has got a little bit of gold on it. Yeah, and this, this ribbon stays the same, I believe, um, oh, for, the, for the different throughout. stages. Mm. And it's just like they took this ribbon and then wrapped it around the rest of her. Yeah. Her face is also super cute, and you can kind of see her eye. So they didn't just not print the other eye? Oh, or did they? They No, they printed it, but see, it's, it's different colored. Oh, cool. Why is that? Is it meant to be like that? Yeah. Play Fate Grand Order, Dave. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> it's really cool that even though the eye is completely covered, they left details on yeah, like that, that, you know? Yeah, that's surprising. Probably wouldn't do that for a prize figure, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it just depends on whether they wanted to keep this piece solid or not. Her buns are super cute as well. They've got a lot of nice shading in there. There's a seam line here on the hair, but they've covered it up pretty good, I think. Really? Right here, there's that is a seam very good. line. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even see it. I didn't take this plastic off, but there's a little bit of protective plastic on. Yeah, that would be annoying to get off. Yeah. Just leave it there. For you guys to do, maybe, one day. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Unless it just sits on my desk. All right. <laughs> so that about wraps it up. Sweet. Take it away, Dave. All right, so there she is, Frankenstein. 
What do you think? I like the colors a lot. <laughs> Me too. I, we, I love pinks, anyways, but the pink、uh, and the pastels look really nice. We're just saying it kind of reminds me of Rem. It does. Rem, it does. From Rezero. Yeah, with kind of one eye covered a bit,、yeah. and the short hair. I mean, she has it in buns, but you know what I mean. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think about her in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.、Yep. And before we go, I have two winners with me. Um, one is for Bring Art Sephiroth, and the other is for the Dororo Annie Memories rubber straps that we showed, that I showed with Anna、yeah. last time. So, first up, Bring Art Sephiroth. The winner from Hobby Link TV is Dorian, who said, "Absolutely gorgeous design. I hope I can get one to give a nice surprise to my friend on Christmas." Cool. Well, I don't know if David can get it to you by Christmas, but we'll try. Well, if, if you, you if you contact, contact me,、us. I will actually do it on that day. So if you contact me, say tomorrow. Well, no, well tomorrow for you guys, not for me. <laughs> but yeah, I will do it. It could happen. It's 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 a little unlikely. Because I send by it. <laughs> I send by it. Well, AML, it, it depends on what how、Country. big the the item is too,、True. right? Anyways, but yeah. We will contact you, but if you want it as quickly as possible, contact, contact him first. Support at hlj dot com. Yeah. Ask for David. All right. Oh, so would it work at David at hlj dot com? I think it would. It would go to my email. Is it Dave or David? David. Okay. So that too. Yeah. Whatever's easiest for you. All right. Next one. This is for the Dororo rubber straps, and the winner is also from Hobby Link TV. So. That one got a few lucky spins off on our number. What? What do you call it? Random number generator. generator. Anyways, this one goes to Castoff Twenty, who I think familiar. Have Have they won before? I have the whole list here. Not on. I, not I think on, they've won on Gumpla TV before, yeah, but not. Just comment every time I've, I've seen that <laughs> name a lot. Because、so. I I wrote it down after I did it, and then Todd was like, "That name sounds familiar." Well, we read off Todd voice comments as well. Yes. So. <laughs> So I, but yeah, I think this is their first time on Hobby Link TV.、Yeah. So congratulations! And they said, "Wow, so excited for an HLJ made exclusive. They look so cute. You've done a great job designing them, Lindsay. Thank you so much. I may just get a couple to add to my next order, or maybe I'll win. Oops, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have let him win. Yeah, true. We could have gotten a sale. <laughs> get another pack and give it to a friend. <laughs> right. <Christmas. laughs> well, anyways, congratulations, and again. We will contact you, or if you want them quickly, you can contact David.、First. Congratulations, Lindsay, for being able to read this out. I printed yeah, it in printed like it size super, zero font. Super tiny. <laughs>、um, also, I mentioned last time, if you want to autograph, I'll do it. But I was kind of half joking, so just no pressure if you don't want it. We can. You get my autograph too, because I'm the guy who sends it. Yeah, I, I see. I was just jealous because David puts an autograph on every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are not doing a giveaway this time. You might have noticed from the banner,、um, but we're saving this for later.、Hey. Yeah. So, anyways. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and always subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications for our newest content. We'll be happy to hear from you if you'd like to leave a comment too. So yep, always reply. So ask questions. Yes.、We'll、see you again next time. Yep. yep. See ya. Yep.